Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pometra. Thank you so much for logging on, tuning in, clicking links, Google. I don't know how you get to this part of town. I don't know how I got to this part of town. So while you're here, though, hit subscribe. Come back again because we've got authors, artists, filmmakers, musicians. We've got all kinds of creative people here. Um, which is why nobody knows how they get to this part of town because it's a bunch of creative people. So we're hanging out with Hanging with Web Show alumnus, good friend Carrie Evelyn, the author of Love on the Beach from Indie Book Fest 2019. We're at Indie Book Fest 2019 in Orlando, Florida. Have so, a blast. Carrie, thanks again for being on the show again. How are me. you? I'm great. It's been a long time. It's, it hasn't been it's that been long two since books. I've seen you. Yeah. It's been two books. Yeah. Because there's a, this, this is, is the number third. Three. That's I know. right. It's crazy. So, How's so it going? It's, it's, it's going great. And yeah. I found out that once you finish the first book, everything begins. Yes. You know, they say, oh, just get the book done, get the book done, and then it's done, and then it's out. And then it's like, wow, doors just start opening. Can you write for this anthology? Can you come to this event? And we can you have, write sequels? We have an amazing community. It is, once yeah. you're Once you, get, you fall into this community, mm -hmm. it is one thing after another. There's always yes. a project, and there's always a, something to do. And everybody's so supportive, and yeah. that's what I found. And I've been asked to write more stories than I have time for. <laughs> and it, it's really been great because it's only been a year and a half since the first book, and this is number three now. And um, I have a novelette that I released, a short story. Fantastic. And, yep, and that came out in February. Nice. Um, in uh, I love those. I just I just released uh, the first of ones, uh, mm -hmm. and it was so much fun. Although I, I have to admit, it was difficult to not just want to keep going. Yeah, it was to hard say, to stop okay, it. Okay, here we go. Here's, it's a short story. Let's have it out. I and had a 10,000 word, lim 10, word limit, uh -huh. and I made it 13. Yeah, see, so that was just, as short as I could make it. Yeah. But it was good, and it was actually um, it's actually a finalist for the Royal Palm Literary Award. Awesome. Congratulations. It's, it's yeah. called Love on the Ice, so it's kind of like a prequel to this series. Yeah. It's a hockey romance. It's so fun. Awesome. And, um, yeah, so, so let, let's talk about uh, let's, well, let's talk about your yes. series first like, of all. Yeah. We'll start. We'll remind them about the first one. Okay, this is the Cranes Cove series, okay. and the first story was Love on the Beach. I'm yeah. sorry, Love on the Edge. This is Love on the Beach, and Love on the Edge followed the story of Matt Saunders, who is a retired, recovering Army Ranger, and he was hired as a bodyguard to um, take care of his colonel's granddaughter after she'd been stalked and attacked, and so. The whole story is their process of healing themselves and healing each other through their PTSD. And in this story, we have Matt's cousin, Damon, and Shelby Porter, who is um, the pastor's daughter of Cranes Cove, where the resort is. So I'm hashtagging it Sweet Resort Romance. Oh, nice. Because it takes place at the Cliff Walk Resort in the fictional town of Cranes Cove, Maine. And it's just awesome. beautiful, idyllic. You know, if you want to go hide away, that's where you want to go. Maybe not in the winter if you don't like the snow, but... It's summertime. You know so. what? The great news is, is that it is a fictitious town. So it all you is. have to do, I may make it never snow there. Is just go to your book, go to your local bookstore, and find it, and spend a few hundred pages, you know, in Crane's yeah. Cove yeah. With, with these great characters. This yeah. is book number three. Yes. What was the one in the middle? The one in the middle was Love on the Rocks. Okay. And that followed um, Easton Crane, who is um, one of the sons of the resort owners, and okay. he manages the barns. And then his ex-fiancee, Kat Daniels, who kind of threw her ring at him at Christmas and just took off barrel racing. These and, things happen, especially yeah. in a romance novel. It's well, she happen. had a brain injury, and that made her very impulsive, and she got really mad, and she just couldn't express herself. And so, you know, I have some relatives who suffer from brain injuries and some friends as well, and that's a big part of it. You don't expect, you don't expect that to keep going six years later. And so they, she is back in town. She comes back to town and she's like, I made a mistake. Can we work through this? And it's hard because, you know, she's not able to do the things she used to love. She can't really read a book anymore. Um, she forgets things. So she has this running list that she's memorized of how to get ready in the morning. And yeah, that was, that was a tough one to write, but yeah. it was, it was good. And then this one picks up right where that one leaves off. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, now, you created Crane's Cove yes. as, as this fictitious place in Maine. Um, now that you have this resort in your mind, I, I just, I know, people keep checking in and checking out. Yeah. And and you did, there's just stories there, so. There's so many stories, so many stories. What do you like about the universe that you've created here? 
it's for me it's it's therapy because I'm from New England and so when I write these stories it's like I'm back home again mm -hmm. and I'm able to take stories of people that I know and put them into characters and help tell stories that they don't know how to tell and mm -hmm. so Cat Daniels um, from the second book is actually based off two relatives of ours that have brain injuries and you know she fell off a horse and my mom's cousin fell off a horse oh, wow. and you know her brain so injury for a lot of your own yeah personal, yeah you know. and and you know we just before I started writing it well, while I was in developing uh, my hus my husband's cousin was in an accident he was hit from behind mm -hmm. and um, they were all hurt and one of his sons died and but he's been left with a brain injury and so wow. it's just I, I needed to work through that and so I had a lot of friends who have children or loved ones go through that and so I didn't really go to family because it was raw and personal mm -hmm. but I wanted to tell the story of what it's like to live with and love someone who has a traumatic brain injury. And it was a nice catharsis for you as you began to understand. Yeah it about... really helped me understand a lot of different things that yeah. I didn't understand. And wow. so it was, like I said, it was a tough book to write. Yeah. This one was so much more fun this to is, write. This is, like you said, this is more of a sweet romance. It is a sweet romance, okay. yeah. And Damon, he's, he's a detective from Atlanta, and he decides to change his latitude, and he goes to Crane's Cove because that's where Matt and yeah, Lainey, they Literally, he changed his latitude. Yeah. Literally. Yep. That's what I did, but I went the other way. Yeah. Um, I'm in Florida now. But he, he went to Matt and Laney's wedding, which they had up in New England, and he just fell in love with the town, and he met Shelby, and he was like, whoa, there's something here. And she's like, no, there isn't. I'm only home for the summer. I'm going off to see the world. And I'm she's a journalist, and she wanted to go to places that were, you know, people were doing great things, but they needed more funding. Mm -hmm. And she worked for a magazine, and the magazine only wanted her to go where the celebrities were going. Oh. So after a while of that, she got tired of it, and she's like, I'm going to find my own funding but I need to go home for the summer and save some money. So she's, she's a freelance writer, she's an editor. So she's at home doing her writing business, working at the diner, and, um, and she meets him and he, there's a job opening on the police force. And okay. so he's like, well, I think, you know, I'm gonna go for that. There and they go. hired him and- Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, yes. So- Yes, I had a story um, last summer that came out in um, Ellie Perez's Thrill of the Hunt World. It was a night at the inn, and that's my Lizzie Borden story. And this year, Yo, those okay. characters are back in A Night in the Passage. You wrote and a Lizzie Borden story. I did, yeah. For? Mm -hmm. For Laura's story, book last year. Well, okay. And um, this year, I brought the characters back. Not Lizzie, but it's yes. also it's a ghost story, just like that one. Nice. And, yes, and I actually said it in my Cranes Cove world in the barn. There's a secret tunnel that they discovered under the barn that nobody knew was there. And that three, is awesome. three girls go missing. You're having a great time in this I'm world. I'm having so much fun in this world. And I'm that tying it into everything I can. That is yeah. awesome. And wow. Yeah, the characters live in my head. And if you read some of my reviews on Amazon or Goodreads, you'll see that the review that the characters are living in readers' heads as well. And they're like, That's give me more, give me more. And yeah, I can't put out a book every month like you know, like some people are. I, I did, you know. It but is. I can do a story. Yeah, it, it, that's awesome. And this yeah. is short stories popping up mm -hmm. now, and that's just yes. what has been the crazy, craziest part of this journey for you since that. Oh first my time. gosh, just doors that opened that I didn't even know existed. I've recently been asked to be a guest author in a new world that's come out called Cat's Paw Cove, and that's created by Winter Daniels and Catherine Keene, and awesome. I will have a story come out in the holiday anthology, wow. November 2nd, called, it's called Meows and Mistletoe, and my story is Christmas at Moon Mist Manor, and it's Matt and Laney from the first book, and they go to Cat's Paw Cove for Christmas. And, you they know. They like the coves. They're, I they're do, liking, yes. They're, they're digging the well, coves cove, up there. The word cove just it brings about a sense of peace. You know, you're in this little cove, you're kind of, you're secluded, you've got ocean is, and is, sand it, it and trees and boats. It is very evocative and, and, and it is. because a cove is a safe harbor. It, it is. It has always yep. been uh, because it's, it's a, a, the antithesis, if you will, of a peninsula. Yeah. It's water on, it's, it's yeah, land on three of, sides and then nothing, Instead ocean. of exposed. That's right, yeah. and so you're right there. And yep. so it's always been, you know, where we build things and where we moor yeah. ships and where we find our calm, yes. our center. And, and your yeah. characters are finding love. Yes, they which are. Is, which is our, I mean, as, as human beings, and, and I think that one of the reasons that romances and sweet romances and, and all the different, you know, subgenres are so popular yep. is because that is our mooring. 
Yep. That mm -hmm. that sense of connection to another human being is what moors us. Yes. And calms us. Um, that's fantastic, though. Thanks. And congratulations, book number three. Thank you. I know. I'm Short so stories are out there, guys. We're gonna put links down below so you can find Carrie in all the places, all over, like social all media, the and all the places that the universe of the internet has to offer. Not those places. That guy's sick. Anyway, what? we're going to stop. <laughs> Go to Carrie Evelyn's books down below. Check them out. We're going to say thank you to our partners and our friends at Krypton Radio, Hearts Helping Others of Central Florida, the Foxwood Wine Company, uh, the great folks at the Cogler Emporium, Josh Bauer at J. Bauer Art for all of the wonderful original that's artwork awesome. that's on our set, um, our good friends at Indie Originals and Space Coast Comics, as well as our fantastic friend Rick Shea and his team over at Famous Faces and Funnies. Um, we've been hanging out with Carrie Evelyn at the Indie Book Fest 2019 in Orlando, Florida. Thank you so much for logging on. Thank you so much for tuning in. Come back and see who we're hanging with next. Awesome. Thank you so Yay, much. Yay, thank Carrie. you. Awesome. I can breathe now.